Joining me now is Timothy Brown, and he is president of Roy Corporation, as well the author of the Profitable Practice book. And thanks for joining me today, Tim. Um, I, I want to ask you a question right away for all the dentists that would be watching: Is why should somebody hire a brokerage, let's say like Roy Corporation, as opposed to actually selling the practice themselves? Boy, that's a loaded question, Todd. And I know that everybody <laughs> in the real estate and the business brokerage business we get this question all the time. Um, you know, why should I hire you? Uh, and that question comes in twofold. Why should I hire you versus another broker? Or more challenging is why should I use a broker at all? And I know that all real estate and business brokers right across the world face this question every day. They do. Thanks for asking a loaded question. I wasn't ready for this, but let me answer it. You know, this, this is the thing. This is where you get the natural answer. So, <laughs> so answer, answer the question. I mean, you know, you, you've been in this business, your family's been in this business for 38 years. There's a reason why you're in the business, but why should a dentist in today's marketplace, with technology the way it is, why should they hire a brokerage like Roy Brokerage? The simple answer is simplicity. Uh, what brokers do in real estate and business brokerages simplify the process. Uh, we have been doing it for 37 or 38 years now, and we've probably darn near perfected it, if I could use that. The long answer, uh, and this is one that's a very sensitive topic, but I wish to say it because it really stirs some, some emotion. Purchasers and sellers want to do business together, and when they come together individually, they don't want to blow the deal. Buyers are afraid to insult the seller by asking the difficult questions. Sellers aren't experienced in the process and don't know what they should offer to the buyer. So we have a very serious problem that forms in a lot of private transactions. And this is true of automobiles, private sales, housing sales, business real sales, estate, yeah. real estate, dental practice, it's all the same. Yeah. It's called accidental misrepresentation. And it's accidental. No one's lying. No one's withholding. Buyers just don't know what to ask and sellers don't know what to answer. And because if you have a business I want to buy, you have something I want. I don't want to insult you, Tom. No, I want, you want, very want, you want the business. If I insult you by asking some very tough questions, you think I'm gonna walk away? You could you could blow me off and send me back to share. This is what brokers do. We become that middle person that keeps the accidental insult insults and stops the accidental misrepresentation. And statistics prove that in a private sale, in real estate or in business, the large majority of those private sales may go to litigation, or in brokerage sales, it's a much lower amount. 